Thank you so much for joining us now at 9. I'm Peyton Marshall. I first want to get a mass shooting at a 21st birthday party in Florence, Kentucky, left four people dead and three injured. The incident occurred around 2.50 a.m. when police responded to reports of gunfire. The victims killed are Melissa Parrott, 44, Shane Miller, 20, Hayden Rabicki, 20, and Delaney Uri, 19. The injured victims are in stable condition at UC Medical Center in Cincinnati. The suspect, Chase Garvey, a convicted felon not invited to the party, fled the scene but later shot himself and crashed his vehicle, dying from his injuries. I did learn that a party was happening here uh, on the street, but I'm going to step out of the way because there's still a lot of police still here investigating. But like you said, four people have died, and if we add another person there, the police are also telling us that the suspect died as well, so that's a total of five people. Now here's what happened. Florence police are telling us that this happened just before 3 a.m. They got a call here uh, that most, for multiple people that an active shooter was inside of the home. Now when officers got here, they say the suspect fled the scene in a vehicle. Now that's where they found when they got to this area, they found seven victims total who were shot. Again, four of those victims did not make it. The other three were transported to UC Hospital and are thankfully in um, stable condition, but some of them are in critical condition, according to Florence Police. But this is a twofold situation because they located the suspect going near Farmview Drive and US 42 and they attempted to stop the suspect, but the pursuit actually ended on Dale Hembrock Way near Hicks Pike. Now the suspect left the vehicle and came to arrest in a ditch. Now officers did found find that suspect to have sustained a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Now, the suspect was transported to St. Elizabeth, where they say he was pronounced dead. Now, right now, they do say that there is no ongoing threat to the public, as Florence police say that the suspect allegedly acted alone. But again, this is a very serious situation, a very sad situation that many of these residents in this area are waking up to this morning. I'm going to send it back to you guys at the studio. Thank you, Taylor. And we're going to keep you updated uh, and give you live updates throughout the show. Again, if you are just now tuning in with us, so we just got confirmation that this was a mass shooting in Florence, Kentucky. Again, Taylor's been there for us all morning. We're going to check back in with her in just a few moments. Uh, this is an update to a mass shooting that we responded to uh, overnight. Officers um, were dispatched to an address on Ridcrest, Ridgecrest Drive in Florence. Uh, report of shots fired around 2.50 a.m. in the morning. Um, when officers arrived, they still heard shots being fired and they um, approached the residence. When they got to the residence, uh, they saw multiple victims and once they got into the residence, the uh, party goers told them that uh, the suspect had fled <clears throat> and gave a vehicle description. Um, other responding officers, um, when they were coming into the neighborhood, saw the vehicle that fit the description. And one of a Florence officer and a deputy from the Boone County Sheriff's Office attempted to stop that vehicle. It fled. Um, a pursuit ensued and went south on 42 into Union and onto Hicks Pike. While driving down Hicks Pike, it's believed that the suspect shooter had um, shot himself with the gun that he had and then crashed his vehicle. The shooter was transported to St. Elizabeth, Florence, and where he succumbed to his injuries and was pronounced dead at St. Florence. Back at the Ridgecrest address, officers um, rendered first aid to several victims. And right now we have three victims at UC Medical in Cincinnati that are all stable and appear to um, be able to, uh, will, uh, make a full recovery. At the scene as well, there was four 
that were pronounced deceased at the scene. Um, and I have their names. The four victims are Shane Miller, 20 years old, of Florence, Hayden Rabicki, 20 years old, of Ellesmere, and Delaney Erie, 19 years old, of Burlington, and Melissa Parrott, 44 years old, of Florence. The reason everybody was at the house was for a 21, a birthday for Miss Parrott's 21-year-old son. The shooter, who is identified as Chase Garvey of Florence, who is also 20 years old, he's known to the party goers. Um, so when the officers got in there and they, the victims and the party goers told them, told them that um, the suspect had fled, they identified him as Chase Garvey. So um, right now, our crime scene and detectives are still working the scenes and the investigation. Um, but our hearts and prayers go out to the families of the victims and we're really um, hoping to support them in any way that we can as a department, as a city. Um, and I want to thank the Boone County Sheriff's Department for their assistance because we are doing the crime scene at Ridgecrest and they handled the crime scene after the accident down in Union. Um, so that was the update. <coughs> Is there any questions that I can possibly answer for you guys? Chief, you seem emotional right now. Can you tell me why? <laughs> We've never dealt with this before. I know it's gone on throughout the nation, but this is the first time that we've had a mass shooting um, in Florence. So, yeah, it is very emotional. And, um, you know, my emotions are for the victims, their families, the officers that responded, and everybody that was touched um, by this situation. Any indication of a motive at this point? No, not right now. That's still under investigation. Like I said, he's known to the other party goers. He wasn't, I don't believe he was invited to the party, but um, there is a relationship with some of that right now. Through these contacts in this regard, in terms of other arrests that we see? Our department has not. Um, I believe Boone County may have, and he is a um, convicted felon on a sex crime in the past. And, doesn't uh, appear to tie it into this at all. Yeah. Um, some of our officers aren't much you know, older than the victims. So as far as a department and the city, we'll do a debriefing with all the officers that responded and offer any assistance um, to talk with peer support, or peer support or um, any medical assistance or anything like that that they would need going forward.